but can you put the 20 amp on this 14 gauge wire? And the answer is, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about, a little more clear this time, about what devices you can put on a 20 amp breaker and what devices you can put on a 15 amp breaker. So you got a 15, you got a 20. What devices can you put on there? Devices meaning receptacles, switches, GFIs, so on and so forth, devices. So stick around. I'm going to literally break it down for you right here on this table, which you can't see yet, but you will. So you will completely understand everything I'm trying to say. All right, have you ever been on somebody's channel like mine or anybody else's that talks about devices, which like I said before, is a receptacle, a switch, or whatever. And they've confused you to no end on what wire goes to what breaker, what amperage of receptacle goes to which breaker. Well, I'm gonna show you guys on a 15 amp breaker what wire size goes on it and what devices go on it. I'm also gonna show you guys on a 20 amp breaker right here what wire goes on it and what devices go on it. There will be no confusion by the time you guys watch this video. Now this video more than likely be a little lengthy, but you will learn exactly. There will be absolutely no questions by the time you're done watching this video, which wire size you can pull for what device. Now we're gonna work on the 20 amps first. Then we're gonna go to 15 because 15 is a little bit more confusing. So we're gonna work on the 20s, all right? Now these are, this, both of these right here are square D breakers. I have a GE breaker. I have a home line breaker. And then I have another GE uh, 20 amp, which is a wafer breaker or mini breaker, whatever you wanna call them. We call them wafer breakers. We call them actually trash because, now I do like GE, but these are thin, as you can see, compared to a full size, full size 20 amp, um, GE breaker, half the size. Now, they have their place, but we're not talking about that. So, first of all, I wanna say this. I have become an affiliate for uh, Racketeers, and let me tell you, their stuff is second to none. I don't know if you can see this bucket right here. This right here is called the Ladder Mate. I did a video on it. If it's not out yet, it will be coming soon. You need to check out the video on that. Now, these, Strippers right here, guys. Oh my goodness. They are fan freaking tastic. They are ergonomically correct. Now I've looked over these before. Even though I'm an affiliate with Racketeers, I still looked over these because I thought there's no way these can be comfortable. My, my goodness. Because I'm really a Klein guy, honestly. These things are amazing. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna show you how they strip. Because these are like really multi-purpose. They have a Romex stripper built right into it. So you see? The row mix is right here, you put it in, boom. And now you are stripped, multi-purpose. So let me set this table up. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about on how and which devices go with which wire. And I'm gonna to talk to you in very first grade terms so there's no confusion after this. I feel like on the last video I did, when I did on the whiteboard, that I kind of confused some people because I had some messages and I talked to some people and they said, when you got near the end, you just kind of confused me. So this will alleviate all the confusion. All right, like I said, links to all my stuff will be down there if you guys decide to use these on Racketeers. They will help my channel grow and all the money always goes back right here to this channel so I can keep on continuing making these amazing videos for you guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start out by saying that you've already got your wire pole, which you pulled a 12 gauge wire. You hooked it up to a 20 amp side of your panel, right? See, it's 20 amp. All right. So we're gonna lay this right here. Now we've got the neutrals on the ground. They're already hooked up in the panel. So here's what we're gonna talk about because I have a whole different lineup of receptacles here. You see what I got going on here? A lot of stuff. So we need to think about this, all right? So let's say we want a dedicated circuit for a refrigerator, all right? Or a whatever the case may be, all right? If you have just one receptacle, a 20 amp breaker in any panel can only have a 12 gauge wire on it. Now, don't get confused if you're looking at your panel and you see white Romex, because this is yellow, but they used to have white 12, white 14, white 10, so on and so forth, and even white eight. 
<laughs> believe it or not. So you don't know unless you're sure, you have to go look because it is written on there. The old 12 2 and the white used to be kind of perforated. You can kind of rub your finger on it, you can feel it, but not no more. So you need to make sure because nowadays it's all yellow, all right? Now on the other end, what you have to do, if you're just running one single, one single wire, one single outlet off this 20 amp receptacle, okay? You have to go with a 20 amp duplex receptacle. Or if you're wiring and it calls for a GFI, you have to go with a 20 amp GFI, all right? So either one, either one of these, it doesn't matter, all right? Either one. Now, that is for a single receptacle, all right? On a 20 amp breaker on 12 gauge wire, you have to put a 20 amp device. Now, now listen close because this is kind of where I confuse some people, I think. All right, now, you have a 20 amp breaker. You ran a yellow 12 gauge wire, all right? Or you have an old 12 gauge wire. It doesn't matter, as long as it's 12 gauge wire, you have a 20 amp breaker, all right? On the other end, you can put a 15 amp receptacle or a 15 amp GFI if, now this is the if part, you have two or more, all right? So, you can put this 12 gauge wire and you can go from here to here to here, right? Daisy chaining them, or however you wanna do it, on a 12 gauge wire. Now, you cannot, now listen, this is the, this is the key. All right, you cannot run on this 20 amp breaker, you cannot run on this 12 gauge wire. So 20 amp, 12 gauge wire. You cannot put a 15 amp receptacle or GFI or even a switch on there. You're not supposed to, all right? Because they all are labeled. Not a lot of people talk about switches, but it's the same thing. It's still a device. This happens to be a 20 amp switch. If it was the only thing on here, this is what you would have to put on here. It's rated for 20 amps. All right, this is rated for 15. We're not talking about switches right yet. So, like I said, you can't put legally this on this. So this is a 15 amp, this is a 12 gauge wire, unless you put two or more. So now, if I put these two on here, now I can run this 20 amp breaker on that 12 gauge wire for these two devices, okay? Crazy, I understand. It may sound really weird, but I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. I just want you to know that is the code, all right? Plain and simple. Same thing goes. Here is a 15 amp switch. If you're only running, if you're running a 20 amp breaker on 12 gauge wire, and you're hooking up one light, all right? You cannot put this 15 amp here switch on this 12 gauge wire. You'll have to go to a 20 amp. All right, I hope that didn't confuse you. I hope that made you understand. It doesn't matter if you're using a GE, if you're using a home line. Yes, these are old breakers I have, so don't be like, oh my gosh, you're installing them in people's homes. No, these are old breakers that I have. This is a squared EQO. 20 amp, doesn't matter if I'm running this thin breaker, right? Doesn't matter. I still have to put the right size wire on the right size breaker. So it doesn't matter which ones I'm using. All right, now I hope that clarified a little bit. I know, like I said, a lot of people have reached out to me and they said, you know, your other video was good, but you really confused me at the end. So. This is the 20 amp breaker on the 12 gauge wire, what you can and cannot use on it, all right? Keep that in mind. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you on 14 gauge wire what you can run, okay? Because that is important too, all right? What can you run on a 14 gauge wire? Can you run any of this stuff? Can you run this 20 amp receptacle on here? Well, we're gonna find out here in just a second. All right, so now that we've got the 20 amp out of the way, we know what we can 
and cannot run on this 20 amp breaker with 12 gauge wire. I'm going to put this to the side, okay? I'm going to get 14 gauge wire right here, all right? And we have this on a 15 amp breaker. So, obviously this is just a mock situation, so there's no neutral on this side. It's hooked to the panel elsewhere. Now, we're gonna talk about this. So, let's say you have a 20 amp GFI or a 20 amp receptacle. Can you put this or this on the 14 gauge wire? Because they're 20 amps, right? Because you can put the 15s, like I told you earlier, on those 12s, remember? But can you put the 20 amp on this 14 gauge wire? And the answer is absolutely not. Never on any given day can you ever do that, all right? You have to stay with the 15 amp. Now, if you do not know the 15 amp versus the 20 amp, what's the difference? Um, in this hand right here that I'm shaking, this is your 20 amp receptacle. Do you see the little line right here at the end of this red wire? The one that goes horizontal? That distinguishes, see the difference? Your 20 amp receptacle. You can never put a 14 gauge wire, which is this wire right here, on a 20 amp breaker. All right, first things first. So this is a 15 amp breaker. It can only, only put 14 gauge wire. All right, and at the end of the 14 gauge wire, you cannot put a 20 amp receptacle. So these two, either one, no go. All right, it is a no go. You can only use 15 amp devices. Now I don't have a 15 amp GFI, but you get the picture. If this was a 15 amp GFI, you could put it on there. But since it's a 20, you cannot. All right, same thing goes for the switches. This is a 20, you know, so on and so forth. Any device. All right, so when you get to the part where it's time to put your devices on here, and you strip it out with these brand new racketeers. Look at that, that's like butter. All right, when you strip it out and you wanna know how to put the wire on here correctly onto your screw, because there is a right and a wrong way. If you guys wanna see that video, definitely check to the side right here. You will see a video coming up and I will meet you in that video. If this video has brought you guys any value, please make sure you smash that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't and I'll catch you in that video. God bless and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.